Hello. Welcome to the uh, second CS Taco blog. Slightly delayed. Slightly delayed. The last one we did was what? Uh, three years two, ago. Three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be hitting you uh, with these just about every three years. Uh, and, you can, and you can expect another one. This is Chris, uh, uh, the, the taco connoisseur. Mm -hmm. I am the taco connoisseurus. Um, and what we do basically is we go to taco spots because they're popping up all over Colorado, probably all over your city, wherever you're at. Mm -hmm. uh, and we test the tacos to make sure they are worth your money. Indeed. Now, Chris does not want to give Taco Bell an opportunity at all. He thinks that it's not a taco. Taco Bell is offensive to me. It's the heresy <laughs> of all Mexican food. He thinks the Taco Bell is, is blasphemous. It is. And if you agree with that, <laughs> then make sure you leave it in the comments. Today we visited El Super Taco. Yep. It's down there on Academy and Hancock. Mm -hmm. um, and it's crazy, like, the Super Taco. That's what the restaurant is called. The Super Taco. The front has, like, I think a guy with a sombrero holding a giant burrito and a yeah. giant taco in the mm -hmm. other hand. So it's like, it's really flamboyant. It's like, you think, like, what? Is like an enormous taco in there? I mean, it's like, is it just the size that they're talking about? Or what? Let's see if it lives up to its name. Let's see if it lives up to that standard. So, Chris, what do you got going on? Uh, I have a chicken taco. It's kind of your uh, run-of-the-mill, you know, chicken, cheese, lettuce, your general, you know, Americanized taco. Did they, I mean, put any toppings on it, any special type of thing? or? Um, it's, it's sort of a, like a by-request place, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just a, a chicken taco with cheese and lettuce. What's supposed to go on the taco? Well, it depends on what kind of taco you're getting. If you're getting, like... California tacos, you have a small soft corn tortilla, you have meat, maybe cilantro and onion. Depends on what kind of taco you're getting as well. Let me ask you this, Chris. Mm -hmm. This uh, this shell, I got the beef taco. Yep. Check this out. So the same sort of basic toppings, you got the lettuce, you got the cheese, lots of cheese, which I which mm -hmm. I can dig. Would you dock them for the shell, or is that does that look like it's a home fried? No, that's that's a legit shell. Is it? Yeah, I mean it's a little dark, so they probably cooked it a little too long, but it's a it's a good shell. The uh, corn tortillas, the ones that you can like buy from Walmart. Yeah. Points get docked for that, right? I mean, just the the regular. Oh, I mean, if you if, don't fry, if you your, just buy something right, from Walmart. If you don't, yeah, I mean, if you don't <laughs> I mean, fry if you, your own shell. Yeah, if you don't fry them, yeah. If you if if it like comes and it looks like it has a flat bottom, like you bought it from a box. Right. First of all, I'm probably never going to eat there again, <laughs> and I wouldn't bother putting that. On anybody's list of anywhere they should ever eat. Right, right, yeah. right. But uh, we're about to, you know, eat this. Um, just to let you know, cool atmosphere as far as the location. Smelled absolutely terrific in there. Yeah. I think you got a, what, a free salt pepper? Yeah, like a free roasted jalapeno with some a little bit of salt on it. So if you go in there, like you can just grab a free, I mean, if you're homeless, you can just go in there <laughs> and snatch a free pepper and just get, get busy. You know, I think Chris took like three. Yeah, so, too, but. <clears throat> what I'm noticing about this taco is that it's missing cilantro, which to me is a subtracted point altogether. Why don't people add cilantro to tacos? I don't think there's a place in the city that they will just naturally do that. I think that's because they're catering to a white market. Mm. So they get they like they throw cheese on it and they make it like very gringo fied. Mm. You know, that's how it works. That's how it is. Well, let's pray. Indeed. Want to crack it? Yep. Lord, thank you for this food you've provided for us. Thank you for this time together. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's see how this is. Mm. Some tomato in there. Some tomato in there? Yeah. It's kind of mild on the seasoning. A little, you know, it's a little lacking on flavor, but... It's not bad, and what flavor there is, it's pretty good. So I would say <clears throat> you know. the exact same thing. And the thing is, with a lot of these places, they don't season the meat a lot because they expect you to take their salsa, which is typically like specialty made. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's not necessarily a bad thing. They got like a green sauce or a red sauce. And if you remember from the first taco vlog video, <clears throat> uh, Albert Tacos, they had like a green sauce, a red sauce that you, mm -hmm. can, you can get for free. So. I don't know. I'm I'm more. I think I'm more into like the seasoned meat, you know, pre-seasoning it. But I don't know if that's, you know, an authentic Mexican 
I mean, I think sauce is a perfectly acceptable topping, but I think if your meat can't stand on its own, then it kind of loses some credibility. So Chris introduced me to Tapatio. Tapatio. And, and, and real friends introduce friends to Tapatio. It's true. It can go on cereal. I got that top. Patio. Top, top. Patio. Top. Patio. Top, top. Patio. That's good. I can't complain. Neither can I. I mean, it's... I think for the flavor of it, mm-hmm. not really worth the price. Really? For the size of it, it's, it's it's worth the price. It's a pretty big taco. It's probably like uh It's bigger than the Albert Tacos ones. Oh, yeah. The thing about Albert Tacos mm-hmm. is it was so hard. The shell was like so hard. Yeah, they hard. were brittle. And mine were soft because they started falling apart before I even got them back. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you know. But, I mean, it's about a, a six-inch taco. It's a large taco, so... Mine was like three bucks. I mean, it's not a cheap taco, but it's not horribly expensive. I don't know that I'd go there again. Maybe try something else. Got some nachos over here. I'm about to crack on. We do got some bit. nachos. Now, this is not the nacho blog. So, okay. I t- I, I, you have I, to try that yourself. You have to try that yourself. Now, because the tacos is not going to fill us up. But we got the nachos, and I took a bite of one, and they are Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. Bruce Lee is an A rating. Okay, those tacos are, f- I mean, the nachos are fire. Mm-hmm. So, no complaint there. But as for this, it's a little bit plain. I think they could have done a lot more to it. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's the gringoification, like Chris said. They do that around here. <clears throat> you know what I will say? And I'll say this without, without you know, any... Uh, I'll say this without any, without any grief. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, for the most part, the taco trucks... That I've had Smash. go harder than the restaurant. That's true. It's I don't know what trucks. it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, Tacos Tenexpa, shout out. Always a good product. Taco Tenexpa? Oh, yeah. What's that? Hey, Smash. That's uh, that that the one ta- we. That, that, the taco trailer on Palmer Park oh. Academy. See, we, that, that's that's going to be the next one. They always. That's going to be the next one, bro. Yeah. Because they don't mess around with uh, their meat. Not even a little bit. On a scale of one to messing around, they don't. They don't. So, <clears throat> final word from the connoisseur regarding El Super Taco. I mean, don't necessarily think it's worth the money. The seasoning's not very good. I mean, it, the seasoning was good for what was there, but it was really mild. Um, taco size was good. I think if you like really mild Mexican food, it'd be a legit spot to go. Yeah. If you really enjoy, like, real Mexican food, or... California, Mexican, something like that. Eh, probably not your best pick. See, and the thing is, it hurts me to agree with that because the atmosphere was so dope. Yeah. You go in there, there's, I mean, it's there's smoke all over the place. Like, I mean, they're getting busy. It smells terrific. Mm-hmm. All types of, like, authentic Mexican decorations. They have peppers for you to eat for free just sitting out there on a plate. Uh, like, I mean, so really, really great. I mean, staff was, you know, friendly, everything. But... As far as the taco, I just think it was sort of bland. Reminded me of, you know, sort of a similar thing as Albert Taco, except for Albert Taco had a harder shell. Probably had better seasoning. Flavor. Better seasoning, too. Mm-hmm. You know, so. But more greasy at the same time. So, you know, you kind of got trade offs anywhere you go. And not really worth the money. It was about, I mean, what, $270? Like two, 250 two bucks, something yeah. like that. So, you know. So that's it. That's it. Have a good night. Look out for the next one.